So we're going to kick it up a notch and go with fourth roots now. <laughs> I don't think you're going to see a lot of fourth roots, but um, if they come up, and we're not going to go bigger than that for these examples, but um, okay, so now we need groups of four. So right now you have a radical in the denominator, which we're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator, so we have to rationalize the denominator. To do that, we're going to need more threes. So we'll be multiplying by the fourth root of, and I'm just going to write three times three times three. I'll worry about multiplying it out later. And then I have to multiply the same thing in the numerator. Okay, so in the numerator then, I have one times the fourth root of, okay, three times three times three is 27. And then in the denominator, now I have enough threes, I've got four of them, so I can get a three out. And so it's just going to be a three. And that's it. That's all we can do with that one. But there's no longer a radical in the denominator, and that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so here's another one. So I have 64. Now, 64 is, if I break it down into its primes, it's a bunch of twos. So, um, let me write it this way. The fourth root of 3 over, and then 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There's six of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Or you could put 2 to the 6. But the point is, I've got to have groups of 4. So I have one group of 4. Okay, that's great. But I'm going to need two more 2s. So I'm going to multiply by two more 2s, both the numerator and the denominator. And then that will get me another group of 4 2s, so I can get those out as well. All right, then over here I'm going to have the fourth root of 3 times 2 times 2, which is 12. And then I've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so I get two twos, or I don't want to leave it that way, so I'm going to write the fourth root of 12 over 4. Now I just was thinking, I don't know if anybody has this question, but could you do anything with those 4s? No, that 4 in the numerator is an index. It's not um, it doesn't have a, a value like a coefficient, a numeric value. It's just telling you what type of root it is. So it's not part of the actual number. It's, it's more like a label, I guess. So it's a fourth root of 12 over 4. Can I cancel the four in, this 4 into that 12? No, because the 12 is under the radical and the 4 is not. We got rid of the radical in the denominator, so we're good. All right, so I'm trying to anticipate what your questions might be. All right, so here's another one. I've got a 3, just a plain old 3 up there in the numerator. And then I've got the fourth root of, I'm going to take 125 and break it down into its primes. And it's going to be 5 times 5 times 5 times, let's not forget about the x. Okay, so over to the side you can break down 125, but that's, that's what it is. So what do I need to get groups of 4 in the denominator? I'm going to need another 5, and I'm going to need 3 more x's. So then that's what I'm going to multiply by in the numerator. You know, and you could write x cubed. I just do this visually. Hopefully it makes it so you can understand what's going on. Um, in the numerator then, I get a 3 times the fourth root of 5x cubed. And that 5x cubed won't break down, it's just going to be that. And then in the denominator, I'm going to get 1 5 out and 1 x. And then I look to see if anything can cancel. Nope. <laughs> so the 5 here down in the denominator, it won't go into 3. And the x is, one's in the radical and the other one's out, so uh, we're done. That's it.